Yo, Aguan, I hope you're having a great day. But the truth is, if you're watching this video, you're probably not because you probably just tried to open an FL Studio project and you was welcome to this error. An error occurred while reading the FLP file. It may be corrupted or some plugin caused an error while opening. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix this error so that you can get into that project. So you can finish that beat or song and keep it moving without losing it forever. So definitely stick through to the end of this video. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jcarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, online marketing, and online business. This is the number one spot for musicians and creators that don't wanna be starving artists so if that sounds like you click that subscribe button and check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it now let's get straight into this how do we fix this error now it's actually very simple i actually came across this error the other day when i i think i turned off my computer after saving a file but my computer was like acting up and everything was moving super slow so i'm not 100 percent sure if it actually you know finished saving and closed fl studio but nothing was moving so i just turned it off from the mains kind of like there's a button on my thing where you hold it down and the computer turns off and then i done that i tried to open it up and this is what i got so very unhappy times but i found a quick solution and i was able to get back into the project and finish it off so how do i do that i will show you right now in order to do this we're going to need to open up our file explorer here we are now we need to go to documents then we need to go to image line and then we need to go to fl studio then projects and then we need to scroll down to backup and now, as you can see in your backup folder, you can see all the projects that, well, not all of them, but <laughs> your recent projects, basically, you can see them, they have been backed up in this folder. So now if I wanted to open up that project that I tried to open, I could just click on this, but you know, it's not there anymore because I've since moved, actually it's down here, but I've since moved on and have created other projects so it's not still around if you if this is a project that you created three months ago you're gonna be unhappy but if it's if you found the problem right now and it's a project that you created like you know last week or yesterday this is going to help you out immensely and this is going to fix that problem if you took too long to look up this video i'm sorry but this is how you do it and then basically you can just double click on any project and it opens like a normal fl studio project so i can double click on this and it will open up our fl studio project it may take a little while though <laughs> as you can see it's opening it now but it seems like this backup folder goes back two days it goes back two days so you need to get this solved as soon as possible as soon as you find the error you need to go through this process go into your backups and get to that project if you don't do that it may be lost in the wind forever okay so that's how you fix this error if you can't get into your project there's no point waiting for this project to open up unless you really don't believe me but you know i think it's very straightforward you're getting into your backups like what what more do you need explain to you for this might happen you might get a wrong computer id and stuff that that did happen to me last time as well with rc20 but in order to do that you just reopen rc20 but this might just be because it's that project i don't know what's going on in there but that's besides the point because you watch through to the end of this video i've got a great gift for you i've got 10 free loops that you can use in your projects in your beats that you can sell online they're totally royalty free just click on the link in the description or go to jcarterray.com forward slash free loops and grab those free loops for yourself today i don't know how long this is gonna still be up so make sure you go and get it asap now let's quickly go over those steps again you need to go to documents then you need to go to image line then you need to go to fl studio and then you need to go to backup that's where you'll find all your projects that have been recently backed up 
that is exactly how you fix this error hope this video has helped you out if you've got any other questions or any other tutorials you'd like me to make please leave those in the comment section down below today we don't have a question of the day because i don't have a question related to this video so i'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about music production online business and online marketing peace out